two common defects of the eyes are short and long sightedness. Myopia is short sightedness and hyperopia is long sightedness. In myopia, objects nearer to the eye are more in focus than those further away, which appear blurry. And in hyperopia, the opposite is true, so images nearer to the eye appear blurry compared to those further away. What is it that causes near and far sightedness? Myopia and hyperopia happen when light does not converge on the retina. Remember that converge means to meet at a point. This image shows the eye of somebody with sharp vision. You can see that the image is perfectly focused on the retina. When light enters the eye, the image is essentially flipped upside down onto the retina. Our brain then flips the image so that we see it the right way up. In order to achieve sharp vision, the image has to be perfectly focused on the retina. So what goes wrong in near and far sightedness? This left image shows what happens in myopia or short sightedness. And on the right, this is what happens in hyperopia or far sightedness. So starting with myopia then, you can see that the light has been bent too much. As a result of this over refraction, the image has formed in front of the retina rather than on it. However, in hyperopia, there hasn't been enough refraction. As a result, the image forms behind the retina. There's a variety of causes for each of these eye conditions. For example, the length of the eye being too short or too long, or the shape of the lens or cornea being too thin or too thick. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.